Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at another 1-6 scale figure. This is Harley Quinn from Hot Toys. Um, this is the prisoner version as you can see here. This is the one where towards the end of it, of the of the movie, um, she, you know, she's already back in the cell. And this is actually from the Suicide Squad and not the, not the one that just came out, but, um, the one that came out a few years ago. So this figure was released in 2017. And right now we're getting a good look at the box here. So what we're going to do next, actually, is we're going to turn this off. I'm going to set this to the side here. Get this cable. I usually tuck it away right here when I do my videos. And I get this and put it to the side. So now, we're going to get a good look at the front of the box here. As you can see here, like the front of the box looks amazing. Really nice artwork. It shows you what it comes with. Um, it shows that they're, you know, up here, um, it shows Bella Rev. Belly? Bella? 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 Bella Rev? Pretty much what they're locked up at. You know, you got the um, nice artwork here. You got Jared Leto right there, the Joker. You got his little smiley thing. It's Harley Quinn. The side here is pretty nice. They're, both, they're the same on both sides. It just tells you the figure. And right here gives you a lot more information if you want to um, pause the video and read that and zoom it in. So, And to take apart this figure, I need to, I need to put it sideways because I just realized I'm probably going to need a bigger uh, light box. I'm so used to doing 7-inch um, uh, figures that these figures are just huge in this light box. So I'll do everything sideways. At the top of this, you can see here it says Harley Quinn. And this is what the front of it looks like after you take off that box. These are all the creators of it. And what I like about this box, most boxes, once you take out the... Most boxes, they have like a little Velcro right here opens up and you can see like a little window here. It's not really a window, it's just clear plastic. And that shows you the figure, but this one doesn't, doesn't do that. This one opens up just like this. And then here's everything with the figure right here. As you can see, I took the figure out already. She's actually standing right, or yeah, she's not really standing, but sitting right next to me here. Um, but these are all the stuff it comes with, as you can see there. So now we're gonna put that to the side. And what we're gonna do next is get a figure and get a figure on the rotating stand and just get, get a better look at her. Alrighty, folks, here's a better look at the figure. How she looks in her orange jumpsuit with the white t-shirt on. Nice 360 view of the figure. Now this figure, so this figure was actually, I believe the second Harley Quinn that I got actually. The first one I will be doing a video on and that was when her, you know, her original um, outfit that she has on throughout the movie. And this, I think this one was the second and they had a third one. I have all of them. I have collected every single uh, Suicide Squad um, one six scale figures, um, except one. Um, and maybe when I do one of the reviews for a different figure, um, I'll tell you guys which one it is. But for now, we're getting a good look at this figure. Now, with the other figure, um, I believe two of them have sculpted hair, as you can see here. And one of them doesn't actually, it has just regular kind of. I think they, well, I do not think they want to, um, I think I would they I don't know what they call it but when it's not um I think it's called like mixed media but I think mixed media is a close though. Anyway, so here's a good look at the figure. We'll we will take her off and um you know get a better look at her later on down the video. But what we're going to do next is get this uh figure off this turntable and take a look at everything that this figure comes with. Alrighty, folks, so as you can see here this figure does come with quite a few things here. Um so the first thing I want to, um, so, okay, so before I get started with anything, all these figures do come with an instruction booklet. So I'm not going to keep doing the construction booklet all the time, but just know that these figures all do come um, with instruction booklet, booklets on how to, you know, hold certain items or how to use this, um, certain things that it comes with, how to, uh, you know, build this up and how far you can actually move your figures. They all come with that. So the first thing we're going to look at here is this i don't really use these at all They're, it's not really it doesn't s sit right with my um with my setup 
I got them in the glass cabinet, you know, two to three in each shelf, and these just wouldn't fit it. But it does come with this. See here. Let me move the camera up a little bit so you can see the top. It says Bell Reeve. Um, you can see the bats there. You see it has Harley Quinn. And you see the tattoo parlor right there. I really like the artwork on it. I really do. Not bad artwork. And I, I do like that most figures come with a kind of a backdrop. I'm going to set that aside now here so I can get a little bit more, um, you know, space in here. So the first thing we're going to look at, it does come with a nice stand. It says Harley Quinn, Prisoner Version, Suicide Squad. And I, I think most of them actually have this little kind of like, I guess you can say crosshairs, you know, for Deadshot. I don't know why. Um, I don't even know if that's what that's for, but it's it's a nice little rectangular one. Plastic at the bottom, where, what you know, the copyright thing down here. And on top of it is just this. It's like at the bars. Like I said, it was, like I said, it was shitting, sitting on the concrete floor, and the light was reflecting down through the bars. So I actually like that. That's kind of really, really nice. And then it does come with... Um, this stand here that goes between your legs. There's a few that come, like for example, figures that actually fly and stuff. They come with one where it's like an adjustable, it's called a dynamic stand where it's, it's a big old kind of stick looking thing. It's like this tall and it's really, it's, it's, it's sturdy, but it's movable and there's a clamp. So you can actually move the character like, or set the character to where I feel like he was flying or something like that. So yeah, so this one comes with the, regular stand that goes between the legs does come with the next extra set of pegs which all most figures do which is nice in case you lose them or they break because these do tend to i'm not going to say they break easy but sometimes the the joints like yes this goes into her arm and this goes into her hand sometimes when you pull it hard enough the pegs come apart and they break sometimes so it's cool that they added that it does come with a pair of relaxed hands you can see there that her nails are nicely done. And the hands are actually, they look nice. When you look at her hands compared to like male figure hands, you can tell the difference between, you know, male figure hands and, and female figure hands, which is nice. The, the, you know, the paint application is not bad on it. It looks like they just really casted it in plastic, kind of kind of soft plastic, as you can see here. And then just painted the nails. So like the rest of the, you know, the the rest of the hand, it's just, there's really not much detail on it. So it does come with a pair of relaxed hands. It comes with this hand right here, which I believe is for the, for the cell phone, which will look up better, as you can see there. Nice, very, very nice. It does come with a little teacup hand. And I'm going to go over this, but you can actually put this here, see? comes with those hands and she has two other hands that she comes with that when I actually uh, review the figure I'll go over so she also does come with a pair of slippers fuzzy little slippers here they're actually very nice the bottom of it is not really sculpted it's just kind of flat as you can see there I would have liked them to be like a little bit like like an actual shoe like with some grips on it because these this is plastic so you see that how it just kind of slides I don't like that I really don't like that part, but it does fit her feet very nicely. Nice little pink slippers for her. She does come with her little espresso cup of coffee and little plate, because at the end of the movie, she has, oh, an espresso machine, and this is it right here. The plate is just a normal piece of plastic plate. I mean, it does look like a plate. And the little cup with coffee in it, as you can see there. I actually don't use these. Well, actually I do, because I have it on the floor. But I actually have her holding a book, the book that she's reading when she's drinking her coffee. As you can see here, the, the book, I'm not even sure what the book is actually, I can't really read it, but it, you can see the nice graphics on the book. And the barcode right there, and you can see here, there's actually words in there, although they're too small for me to read. But the but the book itself it doesn't you can't turn the pages it's just plastic I do like this as a detail they put a lot more detail in this than they did the cup I would say that and then she does come with the cell phone the one that she's always using to text the Joker this one I don't know it looks like a little iPhone except iPhones don't have those buttons at the bottom so I don't know what kind of phone it is but it is kind of like a rose gold 
at the front and like a, like a hot pink at the back. And, you know, the phone she used throughout the movie when she was texting the Joker. And she does come with this. This I've never used for my figure or for this. I, I really don't. So when it comes to figures, mm, especially when it comes to uh, one six scale figures, these are kind of expensive. So having them not in the museum um, pose, which means just standing, standing straight up and down. If you have her like sitting down with her legs crossed on this, eventually her legs are going to get worn. The joints are going to get worn. And if by some chance you don't want that figure anymore and you want to sell, it's going to be a lot harder to sell because of that. So I really don't use this, but it does come with the little mat here. And I do believe it's not, it's either this or this. You can't, it's not like on top because I don't, let me see. I don't think there's a way maybe actually oh actually i didn't know that i'm sorry i take those those words back it does slide on kind of nicely there's like little as you can see these little things kind of stick out a little bit so when you put them on here it sticks right there as you can see it doesn't move anywhere i like that actually didn't know that because i didn't use it so i didn't know how it worked um, I might get a pose in, but I'm, that's not how I'm going to leave my figure. So this is everything that the figure comes with. What we're going to do next is get the figure and take a closer look. Alrighty, folks. So here she is, Harley Quinn in her prisoner uniform. So as you can see here, and also, too, before I go any further, um, I did say that this is called, um, or her hair, this is called Molden, and the other one's called Mixed Media. It is called Mixed Media Um you know, her hair is called mixed media, and this is called molded hair. So um, that's one thing. And before I go any further, I've been noticing on some videos, I, I, I don't know why I always miss it. I'm trying to get her to stand good. There we go. I always miss that. So what we're going to do before we do anything is a, t is a tape measure on her. At the top of her buns right here, I don't know what they're called buns, but they're her hair. She stands 11 and 1 fourth inches. I've noticed I miss it with like three figures already. And I usually, I because I have, the way my it's set up, I have the light box, and then right beside my light box, I have everything, you know, like the paperwork that I read, stuff, the information that I find out, you know, when it was made, when this figure was made and stuff, everything. And I have the tape measure right beside it, but it's right behind the, the light box, and I always, I miss it. So, um, yeah, so going over this figure, as you can see here, I have this hand right here on her right now and that's for when she's reading the book it actually so as you can see here i'm just reaching over to the side here it actually goes in just like that see so i have that hand on her and then i have the other hand i think holds the the cell phone a lot better than the other hand i don't know if this is for her cell phone or not um but i do use it for that there we go oh be careful with these small things so as you can see there, I think it holds it a little bit better. Getting a better closer look at her. She does have, I don't know, there's something about her nose that looks really big to me. Other than that, she does have a really quite re a resemblance to Margot Robbie, which is one of my favorite actors, kind of my, uh, <laughs> my crush there, as you can say. Um, but I do like that she you can see the tattoo on her face the little heart her mold, you know sculpted hair Does not move so it's really nice very nicely colored and very nicely detailed Same down same, same thing goes down to the neck like down to the neck right here by almost her, her cleavage area very nicely sculpted there, too and the paint job is very nice. I like in her, at her face, she has a, her, on, on her head, the lipstick and the eyes just look amazing to me. There we go. And then the rest of the body, I mean, she just, it's, it kind of sucks when figures like, for example, when I did the Joker from Suicide Squad, the Arkham Asylum, there wasn't really much to look at when it came to his outfit or when the way he was wearing it because he had the straight jacket and he had the pants and that was it. Well, this one's kind of the same. She just has the, the mixed media top with the pants 
and just a white shirt on and there's really not much you can you can go into the details with it i mean the pants and the you know the the shirt they're nice you know it says d block only right here on the side as you can see there in the back of it it says site bravo detained detainee d block only burn after use and it's just not it's just nice you know mixed media clothing and i think yeah this one it says uh d block only as well and then this one says site bravo detainee as well um other than that the only other really good thing to look at is her her feet here she doesn't have her toes painted but she does have nice little feet but they get covered up with her little slippers Other than that, like I said, she does have this white shirt on, which I think this is kind of yeah, stitched to these pants right here. So as you can see, I can't, it's not like I really want to, but you can actually pull them up because they're like stitched to the pants so they don't go up. And I mean the top, yeah, well, there you go. Okay. So she, it, it is like, kind of like a tank top, as you can see there. And I do, no, never mind. I was going to say, I do believe there's a uh, wire in here, but there's no wire. It's just the way it's really creased up so there she is and what we're going to do next now is go over her articulation Alrighty, folks so, you, so before going over our articulation um <laughs> this view kind of looks weird on her because she looks she has little little legs and she kind of looks pregnant right now um but that's just the way the camera is set up um because i kind of have it pointing downward but if i were to get this way you can see a little bit better but it's just because the way i have the camera i have to kind of pull it all the way up and kind of downward so when I'm talking about her I can bring her up and kind of move her around so so yeah starting with articulation we'll start with the head her head is actually I do believe I haven't been able to move it same with the neck and I I just I don't know why because I know it's not it's not one whole piece you can see the where there you go you can see where the neck meets the head there so I don't know why there's no movement at the head but yeah, it doesn't move. I'm not going to push it. These figures are expensive. You guys know about, first of all, 1-6 scale figures are kind of expensive. Now, when you start going from third party to, you know, name brand Hot Toys, Hot Toys are just, wow. They're just, I mean, look them up on the price. They're just crazy expensive. So, so yeah, like I said, there's no movement at the neck or at the head. There's no movement at the base of the neck or anything like that. As far as her shoulders... I do believe it's kind of like a ratchet because it kind of it kind of clicks every single time you go. So she does go up, actually. She do, she goes up to about there. I do believe she goes 360 all the way around, but because of the because of the jacket she's wearing or the shirt, she goes up to about. I'm gonna push it to about there, and then goes back. Goes far back actually. So it does hinder it, but it doesn't hinder it too much. There's no movement at the bicep. I do believe she has a double bend at the elbow because she does go further than 90 degrees. And she does have a, a ball peg at the wrist, so she does turn and it does move a little bit. As far as her torso, I don't believe there's a... Yeah, actually, never mind. I take those words back too. She does have movement at, the tor movement at the torso, so she goes forward to about there, and she goes back to about there. As far as her waist goes, there's no movement at the waist. And then as far as her legs go, I do believe she can go up sideways to about there, because you can see here the pants start kind of stretching a little bit. As far as going forward, she goes forward to about there, and she goes back to about there. There is a movement at the at the thigh here. I do say one actually it is at the upper thigh, so I do believe that one goes 360. But most figures that have pants on like this, you don't want to turn it all the way around because then <clears throat> the knee might end up in the back back here. So you don't want to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, like I said, there is movement at the, the top of the thigh where you can actually move it 360 all the way around, but I'm not going to do that. And then she does have a double bend at the knee. Other than that, I do believe her, this part of her leg is actually kind of, it's all one piece. So there's actually just a, 
You can move it a little bit. You can actually turn it 360, but I'm, again, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to ruin anything. Because it goes up, let me see if I can get it. Yeah, there we go. It goes up to about there, almost like it's a sock. So I do believe there's a peg in here somewhere where you just kind of push this all the way in and it, it just pegs right in. So, there we go. Get it standing up straight again. There we go. There we go. So what we're going to do next is we're going to bring out the Joker that I did um, for my last video and do a comparison. Alrighty, folks. So as far as doing comparison right now, I only have one figure that I've done of Suicide Squad with 1-6 scale figures. I know I've done, excuse me, I know I've done 1-6 uh, scale figures already, but it would be kind of weird to bring in like a, like a, a Michael Myers over here with her. So the only other um, Suicide Squad figure that I have with this line is Joker that I've done already. And this is the Arkham Asylum Joker. And I actually have these two together even though nowhere in the, in the movie was the Arkham Asylum Joker and the uh, uh, prisoner version of Harley Quinn ever together. I just find it so cool that, you know, you got one in the, in the straps and she's just wearing the orange jumpsuit and he has his, not, not the straps, but the straight jacket. So just putting these two together like this, it looks amazing to me. I mean, you got the great view of the Joker here. And then you got a nice view of Harley Quinn there. Let's see if I can get them closer together. There we go. Nice little comparison for you. As you can see, he is a little bit taller. I have noticed actually on, I have quite a few um, Hot Toys and one six scale figures and I've noticed that when they make the females, they make them short and really tiny. And what I, what, I'm, what I mean by that is this, she's not so bad at looking, but when I get into the figures down the road, um, you know, I don't wanna to give too, too much away of the ones I'm gonna do, but some of them, um, really look tiny compared to the, you know, some, you know, some other one, one six scale figures. So be on the lookout for those videos. I will point it out once it comes, um, you know, down to it and I will do a comparison and show you the difference. And what's crazy is when I look at the movies from the videos, or I'm sorry, when I look at the movies from these figures, I think to myself, is she really that tiny compared to them? Um, on this one, I kind of want to say she is. But that's not too bad of a of a height difference. I mean, I mean, her, the top of her head comes almost to his forehead, so that's not too bad. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think this right here, both of them together look nice. Down in the comments below. Alrighty, folks. So here she is again, Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad, released in. 2017 from Hot Toys, the prisoner version from Suicide Squad, the, the first one that came out. Now, before I finish off this video, I do want to say one thing, or a couple things with this. This is the reason why I don't have her like this. With her legs crossed, I don't know, there's something about, it looks really weird to me. I'm sure if you really, you know, finagle the figure and push the figure, you can actually get her to do you know to have that cross leg sitting but right now this is the best I can do and I don't know there's something about it that just looks very off to me that's why I don't have her like that the other thing that I wanted to go over was when I was pulling this hand up because she had the one that's holding the cell phone to you know to get this one going um one the peg actually kind of it didn't break but it came apart and um that's why they include different pegs because they do come apart and sometimes you can't fix them you have to you know replace them with the new one so Anyway, I hope you guys really liked the video. If you guys if you guys did, please like and share it. Um, if you have anything positive, negative, constructing criticism, any questions, please comment it down below. Anything helps. If you, ha if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Please, you know, put it out there. Have your friends subscribe. I'm trying to get my channel really, really out there. I'm trying to bring as much um, figures as I can to you guys. These are all for my personal collection. And so right now I'm not bringing in much figures um because i'm not getting much income for the figures you know from youtube so also if you guys i do please ask that if you guys watch my videos please watch them all the way through um youtube actually notices when you don't watch them all the way through you just kind of skip through it or watch half of it and go into the next one they notice that and they think that it's not a good video so they don't try to cycle it through the other videos so other people can watch them um 
Last thing is I do have an Instagram and if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, maybe to see, you know, to get a sneak peek of a video getting ready to come out, uh, give me a follow in there, you know, head over there, give me a follow and check it out. I'll leave the link down in the description below. With all that being said, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.